new to the green is added in completion to the scene. The vibration of the third is added to the one. New to the orange blend, and in their white admixture is seen the stable scheme. To the yellow and the red, to the purple and the ultimate is the vibration of the seventh adjustment of the primary. Each of the seven words, within their seven schemes, adjust to the second comic circle, merge. Twenty-four. S-T-A-N-Z-A-S-O-F-P-C-Y-A-N-25. Their migrating sphere will blend their myriad atoms. The forms through which they work, the lesser million spheres, the cause of separation and the curse of the Asaurus, shatter when sounds the sacred word within a point in time. The light blue bullet surges out. The streams of color melt together. The forms are left behind, and Paragram stands complete. The Lord of the Cosmic Third utters a word unknown. The sevenfold lesser word forms part of the vaster chord. The now becomes the time that was. The eon merges into space. The word of motion has been heard. The word of love succeeded. The past controls the form. The now evolves the light. The day that is to be found for the word of power. The form perfected in the light evolved holds the third secret of the greater wheel. It is the hidden mystery of living motion. The mystery, lost in the now but known to the Lord of Cosmic Will. S-T-A-N-Z-A-I-X The 30,000 million watchers refuse to heed the call. We enter not the forms, they said, until the seventh eon. The twice 30,000 million hearkened to the call and took the form's design. The rebellious ones laughed within themselves, and sought for lay at peace until the seventh eon. But, the seven great lords called to the greater Chohans, and with the eternal loss of the third cosmic heaven entered into debate. The dictum then went forth. The laggards in the highest sphere heard it echo through the scheme. Not till the seventh eon, but at the fourteenth seventh will the chance again come round. The first shall be the last in time he lost for eons. The obedient sons of mind connected with the sons of heart, and evolution spiraled on its way. The sons of power stayed in their appointed place, though cosmic karma forced a handful to join the sons of heart. At the 14th 7th eon, the sons of mind and heart, absorbed by endless flame, will join the sons of will in manvanteric manifestation. Three times the wheel will turn. At the center stand the Buddhas of activity, helped by the Lords of Love, and following their twofold work will come the Radiant Lords of Power. The Buddhas of creation from out the past have 26. S-T-A-N-Z-A-S-O-F-P-Z-Y-A-N 27. Come, the Buddhas of Love are gathering now. The Buddhas of Will at the final turn of the third major wheel will flash into being. The end will then be consummated. Stands Acts. The fifth progressive end from the remnants of the fourth multiplied and reproduced. The waters arose, all sank and was submerged. The sacred remnant, in the place appointed, emerged at later date from out the zone of safety. The waters dissipated, the solid ground emerged in certain destined places. The fifth or ran the sacred land, and in their fivefold groups developed the lower fifth. They passed from stage to stage. The watching lords, recognizing the roof was formed, gave a sign to the circulating fourth and it speeded faster on its way. 
when the lesser fifth had midway passed and all the lesser four were peopling the land, the lords of dark intent arose. They said, Not so shall go the fourth. The forms and riches of the third and fourth, within the corresponding fifth, approach too close the archetype. The work was far too good. They constructed other forms. They called for cosmic fire. The seven deep pits of hell belched forth the animating shade. The incoming seventh reduced to order all the forms. The light, the dark, the red, and faded brown. The period of destruction extended far on either hand. The work was sadly hard. The children of the highest plane gazed in silence on the work. The Asaurus and the Chaitin, the sons of cosmic evil, and the reaching of the darkest constellations. 28. S-T-A-N-Z-A-S-O-F-T-Y-A-N-29. Gathered their lesser hosts, the darkest spawn of hell. They darkened all the space. From the coming of the heaven sent one piece passed upon the earth. The planet staggered and belched forth fire. Heart rose. Heart fell. The form was changed. Millions took other forms or ascended to the appointed place of waiting. They tarried till the hour of progress should again sound forth for them. The early third produced the monsters, great beasts and evil forms. They prowled upon the surface of the sphere. The watery fourth produced within the watery sphere, reptiles and spawn of evil fame, the product of their karma. The waters came and swept away the progenitors of the fluidic spawn. The separating fifth built in the roof of sphere the concrete forms of thought. They cast them forth. They peopled the lower four, and like a black and evil cloud shut out the light of day. The higher three were hid. The war upon the planet had been waged. Both sides descended into hell. Then came the conqueror of form. He drew on the sacred fire, and purified the Rufa levels. The fire destroyed the lands in the days of the lesser six. When the sixth appeared the land was changed. The surface of the globe circled through another cycle. Men of the higher fifth master the lower. 30 A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E-O-N-T-O-S-M-I-T-F-I-R-E. 3. The work was shifted to the plane whereon the children stood. The lesser triangle within the lower orb egg became the center of cosmic dissonance. S-T-A-N-Z-A-S-I The wheel of life turns within the wheel of outer forms. The matter of foe has circulated, and its fire hardeneth all the forms. The wheel that is not glimpsed moveth in rapid revolution within the slower outer case, till it weareth out the form. The 49 fires burn at the inner center. The 35 circulating fiery vortices extend along the circle of the periphery. Between the two passes in ordered sequence the various colored flames. The great triangles in their just arrangement hold to the secret of the wheel of life. The cosmic fire radiates as directed from the second sphere, controlled by the ruler of the merging ray. The cohorts of the third encircling sphere in varied ranks mark out the lesser threes. The wheel of life still moves within the form. The devas of the fourth connect the 35, and blend them with the central 49. Above they work, seeking to merge the whole. Upward they stride, who in their myriad forms revolve within the wheels of lesser magnitude. The whole is one, yet on the lower spheres only the forms appear. They seem in their divisions more than can be grasped or met. 
the many circulate, the forms are built, become too firm, are broken by the light, and circulate again. The few revolve, holding the many in the heat of motion. The one embraces all, and carries all from great activity into the heart of cosmic peace. 31. STANZAXII The Blessed Ones hide their threefold nature but reveal their triple essence by means of the three great groups of atoms. Three of the atoms and threefold irradiation. The inner core of fire hides itself and is known only through radiation and that which radiates. Only after the blaze dies out and the heat is no longer felt can the fire be known. 32. with the basic purple in revolution. Four of the colors secondary in the cycle of discrimination in which the revolution taketh place. It is circled to the midmost point and somewhat past. Yellow the band that cometh, orange the cloud that hideth, and green for vivification. Yet the time is not yet. Many the circling fires, Many the revolving rounds, but only when the complementary colors recognize their source, and the whole adjusted itself to the seven will be seen completion. Then will be seen each color in adjustment right, and the cessation of revolution. 33. S-E-C-T-I-O-N-O-N-E Fire by friction of fire of matter introductory remarks 37 division A. T-H-E-I-N-T-E-R-N-A-L-F-I-R-E-S-O-F-T-H-E-S-H-E-A-T-H-S 55B T-H-E-P-E-R-S-O-N-A-L-I-T-Y-R-A-Y-A-N-D-I-T-S-R-E-L-A-T-I-O-N-T-O-F-I-R-E 69C P-R-A-N-A-N-D-T-H-E-E-T-H-E-R-I-C-D-O-D-Y 77D K-U-N-D-A-L-I-N-I-A-N-D-T-H-E-S-P-I-N-E 134-E M-O-T-I-O-N-O-N-T-H-E-P-H-Y-S-I-C-A-L-A-N-D-A-S-T-R-A-L Plane 141-F T-H-E-L-A-W-O-F-E-C-O-N-O-M-Y 214 Section 1 I-N-T-R-O-D-U-C-T-O-R-Y-R-E-M-A-R-K-S I, 2, 3 Fire in the macrocosm Fire in the microcosm Fire in manifestation W.E. purpose in these few introductory remarks to lay down the foundation for a treatise on cosmic fire and to consider the subject of fire both macrocosmically and microcosmically, thus dealing with it from the standpoint of the solar system and of a human being. This will necessitate some preliminary technicalities which may seem at first perusal to be somewhat abstruse and complicated but which, when meditated upon and studied, may eventually prove illuminating and of an elucidating nature, and which also, when the mind has familiarized itself with some of the details, may come to be regarded as providing a logical hypothesis concerning the nature and origin of energy. We have elsewhere, in an earlier book, touched somewhat upon this matter, but we desire to recapitulate and in so doing to enlarge, 
thus laying down a broad foundation upon which the subject matter can be built up, and providing a general outline which will serve to show the limits of our discussion. Let us, therefore, look at the subject macrocosmically and then trace the correspondence in the microcosm for human being. I. Fire in the macrocosm. In its essential nature fire is threefold, but when in manifestation it can be seen as a fivefold demonstration, and be defined as follows. 37. 1. 38. A-T-R-E-A-T-I-S-E -E on cosmic fire. Fire by friction, or internal vitalizing fire. These fires animate and vitalize the objective solar system. They are the sum total of logoic kundalini, when in full systemic activity. 2. Solar fire, or cosmic mental fire. This is that portion of the cosmic mental plane which goes to the animation of the mental body of the logos. This fire may be regarded as the sum total of the sparks of mind, the fires of the mental bodies and the animating principle of the evolving units of the human race in the three worlds. 3. Electric fire, or the logoic flame divine. This flame is the distinguishing mark of our logos, and it is that which differentiates him from all other logoi, it is his dominant characteristic, and the sign of his place in cosmic evolution. This threefold fire may be expressed in ray terms as follows. First. We have the animating fires of the solar system, which are the fires of the primordial ray of active intelligent matter. These constitute the energy of Brahma, the third aspect of the Logos. Next are to be found the fires of the divine ray of love wisdom, the ray of intelligent love, which constitutes the energy of the Vishnu. Aspect the second aspect will go with point four finally are to be found. Four inches that wearing to all enter, the Shanti, is Vishnu, he who covers up, envelopes, surrounds, undertakes all, is Brahma, he who sleeps, Shet, in everything, is Shiva. Shiva sleeps, lies hidden, in all and everything is the nexus, the bond, and this is the nature of desire. Vrnight signifies the envelopment, the covering with an envelope, the demarcation of the limiting bounds of the periphery, and so the formation or creation of all forms, and this is action presided over by Brahma. The Shanti Sarvani indicates that all things enter into it and it into all, and such is the self, connected with cognition and Vishnu. The summation or totality of these is Maha Vishnu. Maha Vishnu, the overlord of all this world system, is described as the Ishvara, white colored, four armed, adorned with the comp the discus, the mace, the lotus, the forest wreath, and the camps to the gem, shining, vestured in blue and yellow, endless and imperishable in form, a tributellus, yet ensuing and underlying all attributes. Here, the epithet Ishvara indicates the rule, the four arms, the four activities of cognition, etc., the white resplendence is the illumination of all things, the shenka, hum. I-N-T-R-O-V-U-C-T-O-R-Y-R-E-M-A-R-K-S-39 The fires of the cosmic mental plane, which are the fires of the cosmic ray of will. They might be described as the rays of intelligence will and are the manifestation of the first aspect logoic, the Mahadeva aspect point five. Therefore we have three cosmic rays manifesting. The ray of intelligent activity. This is a ray of a very demonstrable glory, and 
with a higher point of development than the other two, being the product of an earlier Monocalpa or a previous solar system point six it embodies. Her shell indicates all sound, and the chakra, lunar discus, all time, there being a connection between the two, Gata, the whirling mate, is the spiral method of the procession of the world and the lotus flower is the whole of that procession. The Vanamala, the wreath of forest flowers indicates the springing together of all things in death. Unity and necessity, the Neelakid Ambara, blue and yellow vestures, are darkness and light. The Kaustuba jewel indicates inseparable connection with all. Nirguna, a tributellus, shows the presence of the nature of negation, while Saguna, a tributable, implies possession of name and form. The world process as embodied in our world. System is the result of the ideation of Mahavishnu. Pranavavada, PP. 72 to 74, 94 to 95. Five Mahadeva is literally Great Diva. The term is frequently applied to the first person of the manifested trinity, to Shiva, the destroyer aspect, the creator. Six inches one day out of this long life of Brahma is called Kalpa, and a Kalpa is that portion of time which intervenes between one conjunction of all the planets on the horizon of Lanka, at the first point of Aries, and a subsequent similar conjunction. A Kalpa embraces the reign of 14 Manus and their Sandhis intervals, each Manu lying between two Sandhis. Every Manu's rule contains 71 Maha Yugas. Each Maha Yuga consists of four Yugas, viz, Krita, Treta, Dwapara, and Kali, and the length of each of these four Yugas is respectively as the numbers 4, 3, 2, and 1. The number of sidereal years embraced in the foregoing different periods are as follows Mortal years. 360 days of mortals make a year. Krita Yuga contains. Treta Yuga contains. Dwapara Yuga contains. Kali Yuga contains. The total of the said four Yugas constitute a Maha Yuga. 71 of such Maha Yugas form the period of the reign of one Manu. Reign of 14 Manus embraces the duration of 994 Maha Yugas, which is equal to Add Sandhis, i.e., intervals between the reign of each Manu, which amount to 6 Maha Yugas, equal to The total of these reigns and interregnums of 14 Manus is 1000 Maha Yugas, which constitute a Kalpa, i.e., one day of Brahma, equal to 1, 1,728,000, 1,296,864,000, 4,294,080,000 The basic vibration of this solar system, and is its great internal fire, animating and vitalizing the whole, and penetrating from the center to the periphery. It is the cause of rotary motion, and therefore the spheroid form of all that exists. The ray of intelligent love. This is the ray which embodies the highest vibration of which our solar logos or deity is capable in this present solar system. It is not yet vibrating adequately, nor has it yet attained.
governing the internal fires of the system so the cosmic law of attraction and repulsion is the basic law of this divine ray. The ray of intelligent will. Little as yet can be said about this ray. It is the ray of cosmic mind and in its evolution parallels that of cosmic love, but as yet its vibration is slower and its development more retarded. This is definitely and deliberately so, and is due to the underlying purpose and choice of the solar logos, who seeks on his high level just as do his reflections, the sons of men to achieve a more rounded out develop. Mortal years. As Brahma's night is of equal duration, one day and night of Brahma will contain. 360 of such days and nights make one year of Brahma, equal to 100 of such years constitute the whole period of Brahma's age, i.e., Mahakalpa. 8,640,000,000, billion. That these figures are not fanciful, but are founded upon astronomical facts, has been demonstrated by Mr. Davis, in an essay in the Asiatic Researches, and this receives further corroboration from the geological investigations and calculations made by Dr. Hunt formerly president of the Anthropological Society, and also in some respects from the researches made by Professor Huxley. Great as the period of the Mahakalpa seems to be, we are assured that thousands and thousands of millions of such Mahakalpashe passed, and as many more are yet to come. Deep Rama Vaibharta and Bhavashire Puranas in Linda Purana, ch. 171, verse 107, and c. And this in plain language means that the time past is infinite and the time to come is equally infinite. The universe is formed, dissolved, and reproduced, in an indeterminate succession Bhagavad Gita, 8, 19. The Theosophist, Volume 7, P. 115. INTROVUCTORYMARKS 41. Meant, and he therefore concentrates on the development of cosmic love in this greater cycle. This ray is governed by the law of synthesis and is the basis of the systemic movement which may be best described as that of driving forward through space, or forward progression. Little can be predicated anent this ray in its expression. It controls the movements of the entire ring pass not in connection with its cosmic. Center point 7. The tabulation on page 42 may make the above ideas somewhat clearer. These three expressions of the divine life may be regarded as expressing the triple mode of manifestation. First, the objective or tangible universe. Second, the subjective worlds are formed. And third, the spiritual aspect which is to be found at the heart of all point eight, the internal fires that animate the
his mental body which extends considerably beyond the physical and enables him to function on the lower levels of the mental plane. 81. The primordial is the ray and the direct emanation of the sacred core. S. D. I. 115.